Now that you're here, time travel volunteers, I can give you your pre-flight briefing. There's a lot you'll need to know if you're to successfully cross the space-time continuum. We'll have to hurry, though. The Biff's still on the loose. Anything could happen. <laughs> Did you get in here? Why don't you ask these bozos? Doc, one of our time travel teams was conducting an experiment back in 1955. He must have stowed away! Hey, I'm not one to pass up a free ride! Tanner! You shouldn't be here in the present! We've got to get you back to 1955, or we could create a major paradox! Oh, don't worry, Doc. I'll go back. And in style. But first... I'm gonna take a little joy ride. No! Biff! Love to stay in chat, Doc. I just ain't got the time. <laughs> what am I saying? I got all the time I want! <laughs> Unlock these gates! Helen! I'll still a bye-bye! This is terrible. He's gonna hold the time. History as we go, it will be completely obliterated. If he's not stopped, we can... Wait a second. Ah, why didn't I think of this before? My newest invention, the passenger DeLorean time vehicle. That's it. I'll just hop in there. Great Scott, what am I thinking? I'm trapped like a rat in my own office. There's no way I can get to the time machine. Hold on a minute. I can get to it. What? My time travel volunteers, you and you and you, you're my only hope. The passenger DeLorean is just beyond that door where you're standing. I can pilot my remote control from here, but I'm gonna need you to help me navigate. You've got to catch Biff. The fate of the entire universe rests in your hands. Now try and relax while we go over a few final safety instructions. Here are a few safety tips you should know before taking off. Watch your head as you step into the time travel vehicle. Once in, slide to the furthest seat. Adults, watch your head as the ceiling slopes down in the back. Remain seated. The safety restraint will be activated by one of Doc Brown's assistants. Keep your arms and legs away from the door. Take extra care that cameras and other personal belongings do not interfere with the safety restraint. No photography is permitted during the ride. And please, no smoking, eating, or drinking while inside the time vehicle. We ask that you follow these simple safety tips during your journey across the space-time continuum. Enjoy your flight. I almost forgot. In order to successfully bring Biff back to our time period, it is necessary to accelerate up to 88 miles per hour and bump him. That's right, bump him. The impact of two traveling time vehicles will create a time vortex sucking both vehicles and time travelers back to their original point of departure. There's no telling where or when Biff may be leading us, so be prepared for anything. Good luck, time travelers. Get in! Watch your step. Hurry up! Get in, let's go! We've got to move! Watch your step. Get in now. Hurry up. Get ready. Don't worry about a thing. You're in good hands. Oops. I still haven't worked all the bugs out of this thing. But no matter, we're on a mission of universal proportions. Doc, Biff has passed through the space-time continuum, but we've got no way of knowing where he is. You mean, when he is. And we do have a way of knowing when he is. The eight-passenger time vehicle is equipped with a sub-ether time tracking scanner, which will allow us to track Biff to his precise location at the precise moment in whatever time period he may have traveled to. Doc, all pre-launch system checks are complete. That's our cue. Hang on to your hats. Don't forget, when you see Biff in the little Orient, accelerate to 88 miles per hour and bump him. Accelerating now to 55 miles per hour. 65, 75, 85, 85! Oh, power! Still valley in the year 2050. And then Biff, let's get him. Oh, oh well. Do 
you think? Whoa! Gotta get some gas, Doc! Ha-ha! I'm up here, Doc! <laughs> Going down! Down! Remember, the future is what you make it. 